Well, hello everybody. My name is Dr. J.D. Swanson, for those who don't know me, and I'm the author of Karate Science. And what I'd like to do today is go through a fairly simple kind of idea, or a simple concept of a little bit of inside, or mainly actually outside tension and stances, and in particular pertaining to Zen Kutsudachi and its relationship between Hami and Shoman. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that to go into a drill that I did with everybody in my Zoom class, uh, my live class yesterday. So what I would like, so let's just get started. Hey, us, very good. Okay, so from here, just nice and relaxed, I'd like you to make Zen Kutsudachi, hey, from here. We're always told that there's effectively three positions to Zen Kutsudachi. Hami, with the hips back. Shoman, with the hips square to the front. And the other, of course, is Gyaku Hamae, where the, where the hips are turned all the way around onto a 45 degree angle. We'll talk about Gyaku Hamae later on. We'll talk about how Nidan and tired in there a little bit. From now, from now, what I want to do is I want to focus on just Hami and Shawman and the feeling. And we're always told that with that rotational hip movement that we use to generate power in Gyakuzuki, there's always this idea of rolling the hips forward, which was true to a certain extent. But I want to just change your thinking about it today. So from here, what I want you to imagine is imagine that you're standing on one of those things in Walmart. So Walmart, big shopping store here in America. What they have are these things called Dr. Shawls, um, sort of like scanners. And what you do is you stand on them and it's sort of a squishy pad and it gives you this idea of how your feet push into the floor. And so what I want you to imagine is that as you're standing just on the floor, be very aware of how your feet are on the floor. So with karate, one of the reasons I really enjoy practicing in bare feet is because my feet can feel how they press into the floor. And I should also preface this by saying at no time do I put so much tension that my, any part of my foot leaves the floor. I'm just aware of the tension and the way that it's rolling and connecting in the floor and where my body weight is pushing in slightly to the other. Don't at any time sort of overly roll or overly roll so that major parts of your feet come out of contact. Always have that feeling of down and spread. So what I want you to do is just stand in Shizentai, hands on hips, nice and easy, not so athletic today. Feel just here if you squeeze your bum, squeeze your hips forward and in. What you notice is that your weight goes onto your heels like so. If I from here push my knees forward, notice how your weight pushes down into the front balls of your feet. If I stand here and sort of open my hips outwards, I can feel my weight going into the outside edges of my feet. So what I want you to do is from here, I'm going to use my arms to sort of point out where the pressure is going. I'm going to stand here and just open my hips. Just push, feel that the side edge of your feet dig into the floor. Just feel that. Notice my feet aren't coming up, but I've just got that feeling of them moving over and in. This is very subtle. From here, push forward and back. And notice how as I push forward, the balls of my feet on this foot feel like they're pushing in. And as I push back, notice how my heel pushes back into the floor. So it's this this kind of feeling on my feet. Now if I switch, same. Now if I turn my hips, what's happening here is I feel the outside edge here and the outside edge here. And switch here, here, here. If I go inside, sort of squeeze from the inside of your groin and up, squeeze my bum, now they roll in. So I've got this idea of out, forward, forward, turn, turn, and in. And that's what I want you to feel. Just for a couple of minutes, press pause and just feel one, two, three, right? Four, four, and five. Just like so. One, two, three, four, five. Press pause, give that a go. Good. Okay, so you've got that feeling. And again, remember, it's not about lifting your feet off the ground, it's just being aware how your body weight changes in that floor, feeling that subtleness. And again, not pushing so hard. We'll, we'll talk about that right at the end. If I don't, remind me. Just kidding, I'll try and remember. So from here now, make Zen Kutsudachi. And all I want you to do is make Hami. And as you make Hami, don't feel that you're just turning your hip back. Rather, what I want you to do is feel from your hip to the floor. Feel the sticking point here. So my feet are turned around. I turn my hip. I feel my foot digging into the floor this way. Pay attention and it's a slight push. 
My front foot, as I rotate out, I'm pushing outward. I'm not letting this knee slouch over, right? It's not this, it's keep the knee pushing out. Don't push with your knee. This, bad. Okay, ideas of standing and you know, you see all sorts of drills where they'll have you pushing out over the outside of your feet. Do not do that. That will hurt your knee unless you have very flexible knee joints, which I don't. Rather feel a continuous connection from your groin down to your foot and let your knee bend how it naturally bends. Pretend you don't have them. Just feel that pressure into the edge of your foot and don't force your knee in any particular direction other than the natural way it bends. This is really important for your training. I want to train till I'm 100. Allow your body to do that. So as I'm here, just push forward and push open, open your hip. And what you'll find is you end up with the outside edge of the foot, just push in. So if I use my feet, it's pushing this way. Again, don't actively push. If you do that, what's gonna happen is that's gonna stiffen your hips up. Just feel this natural settling into the stance as my front knee drops feel and as I open my hips up as far as they can go click this outside edge this pressure goes into the outside edge of your feet and it's very subtle this is outside tension from here now all I want you to do is from here having your hips open now squeeze them shut this way so just rather than thinking of it rolling forward simply squeeze this way now what you notice is that now I'm pushing actively out of my heel of my back foot and actively on the ball of my foot. I can feel this pressure, right, just slightly. Some of you, depending on your flexibility of your ankle, you'll find that it's the ball of your foot digging in, but what you're after is that heel feeling, right, the heel digging in. This is what everybody talks about. Remember, I'm Dr. Stiff Ankles. I find this hard. So feel here, feel an active push into my heel as I push. Not in, it will naturally go into the ball because we're human. But the feeling is this, backwards and forwards. I open, this, close, this. And so what I want you to do now is just nice and relaxed, feel it through your feet. Feel it like this kind of action as your hips move. Feel push, then switch the pressure in your feet. Push, 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 push push this feeling and it's now an opening and closing of your hips rather than a rotation what you can do as you become more advanced instead of making that simple rotation through the center of your body click click you can make it now through the front hip click click or the rear hip click click right depending on where you want your body center to go for now try it just through the center so try one two one two 50, 100 times, then switch your feet, then try it on the other leg, and then we'll move on. So press pause, give that a go, and we'll be right back. Okay, the next one that I wanna do is now just practicing with gyakuski, so adding arms. So from here, don't worry so much about what your arms are doing, just let them go through the natural motion. The feeling is important in the hip and the feet. So from here, push out, have that feeling of here all the way down to your back foot. This is just supporting. Then from here, rotate, change, don't rotate your hip. Simply the same feeling as what you had before. Change the tension in your feet, click, punch. Now from here, feel, load, change the tension in your feet. Click, push. Change the tension in your feet. From here to here, click. Change the tension in your feet from here to here, push, 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 right, push, 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 this feeling. So what I would like you to do is practice that now with the arms 100, 200 times either side, as many as you can. Press pause, give that a go. Okay, last piece for today. What I want you to do is now feel from here, open, pressure and feet. Go from here, punch. Now from here, find a one, two. So from here, one, two. Just change, almost like you've got one of those dog clickers, you know, those things. Feel from here, click, click. Now make it, and just change, one, two. 
one, two, just the tension of your feet. Don't think about sort of this sort of, see how it's slow. Rather feel click, 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 click. This feeling. Give that a go, tying together now. The block and punch. Block, punch. Feel, whoop. Grab, 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 grab each time. Give that a go. Very good. Last drill for today, and this one we're going to be doing for a while. I want to make this a subject of this one and also the next 15 minutes of thought that you'll get in a couple of days. From here, very simple drill. It's a 180-90, but I want you to think about the tension in your feet. Today, we're just going to introduce the pattern, but think about the concept that we've talked about today. So the way it works is I'm going to go 180 degrees, turn behind, then 90 to the side. 180, 90, 180, 90, and so forth as we go around. A couple of rules to help you think. 180, 90, and always follow your arm. That's the key. Okay, so 180, 90, 180, 90, always go in the direction of the arm that's sticking out. We're going to do it with Geromurai Gyakuzuki today. So again, feel the tension in your feet as you move. So I'm going to do it for my best side. Just so you can see, I'll go through it slowly once and then you can always rewind. It's nine steps. So number one, step forward, Hidari, Zenkutsudachi Geromurai. Make Gyakuzuki, two. Now from here, 180 degrees. I'm going to turn right around to see you. One, two. Now 90, following my arm. One, two. 180, following my arm. 90, 180, 90, 180, 90, 180, and we're done. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not. Let's start that again. I lost my thing because I'm facing you. <laughs> Let's try again. Ready? So, 180, knee, 90, 180, 90, 180, 90, 180, 90. There. So it's ten, nine counts. One more time. 180, 90, 180, 90. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. So nice and relaxed. Let's try it to the front. 180, 90, 180, 90. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Very good. That's the idea of the drill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try that real quick just to get the pattern. Press pause, give it a go. Okay, so the last piece, think about the pieces that, you're, that we're working on. Think about your body center. Think about the action in the feet. So if I do it facing you, and I'm not going to worry about the hands so much. I'm going to point to the tension in my hips or in my hips to my feet. So it ends up going from here. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, right, hummy. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two. This is the feeling you want. Pay attention to that as you work with your arms. So as you make an umbrella, feel, let it go, click, feel, click, feel, click, feel, click. Feel, click, feel, click, feel, click, feel, click, feel, click. This feeling. The very last thing I want you to think about 
Let's think about your body center. Try not to have any excess movement. Only move in the direction you want to move. Pretend as if you're one of those big sort of round yoga balls and you're getting pushed in a particular direction that you want. So from here, as I make my turns, don't feel that you're moving from here and then from here rotating and push. Don't feel this backwards and forward action. Feel rather just rotate and push. Rotate and push in the direction you want. Just have that, okay? And so with that, stop here and I'll talk to you again soon. Work on that, we'll talk on it later. Hey, us. Thank you.